What makes a superhero? You know, that's a question I'm often asked, and it's a hard one to answer. Superheroes, they're as unique as the individuals behind the masks. Anyone with the dream to make the world a better place and the strength of heart to turn those dreams into action, well, that person can become a superhero. I've been Night Owl for five years now. Razorhawk just seems to be part of who I really am. I've been reading comics since I was about 13, and that's really what spurred on my want to do something like that. When not suited for battle, superheroes could be anyone. Danger man. A co-worker, a close friend, maybe even your own sister or dad. Welcome to my Academy of Heroes. I'm Stan Lee, and I'm here to introduce to you some of the latest and greatest real-life superheroes America has ever seen. You know, today, more than ever, real-life superheroes are showing up in cities and towns all across our great nation. Now, take Razorhawk, for example, a former professional wrestler with a lifelong love of comic books Razorhawk patrols the streets of Minneapolis watching for crime and helping those in need. I really have no powers whatsoever. Sad to say, I can't jump up and fly out of here. You guys need some water? I've got some water. Oh. I'd say my best skills are being compassionate and caring about people. Take care of yourself. Therefore, the homeless outreach is a big part of that. From time immemorial, Superheroes have been known to work in teams, but Phantom Zero and Nyx are a pair of real-life superheroes from New Jersey who have an even closer bond. They are engaged to be married. The story of how I wooed Nyx into my arms, she was being bothered by a number of people online, and there was one or two individuals who were cyber-stalking her. I love your outfit. Thank you. Her Thank you. I do too. I had a few creepy people who were pursuing me online. Uh, Phantom Zero actually came to my aid and was able to chase said persons off. So I definitely appreciated that help. You know, the phrase do-gooder has sometimes taken on a negative connotation. But why should that be? Isn't doing good what all superheroes should be focused on? And if so, no one sums up the term do-gooder quite like L.A.'s own Good Samaritan. I really strongly believe in being a good neighbor and demonstrating it to children through the use of community outreach, education, and entertainment. I will ninja chop you. I will come after you. I do not live with delusions of grandeur, so I know that I don't have superpowers, but I do believe that I have a skill of being able to connect with children. Oh, crap. I mean, darn. Lurking at the edge of a Pacific Northwest forest, Night Owl swoops from the sky to put fear into the hearts of those who would cross the boundaries of justice. You know, he's also a heck of a nice guy. I don't live in a clock tower or a cave. I live in a residential area and I rent a room. Here we have a bunch of different decor I have in my room. It's all very personal. Uh, Krav Maga is an Israeli form of self-defense and I've been practicing it off and on for about three years. Night Owl is about the idea that if you do something in a unique way, you can show other people that, look, I am just a normal person. I don't need superpowers to make a difference in the world. As fast talking as he is quick to action, Motormouth hails from Northern California, and he patrols the most dangerous hoods from the mean streets of Oakland to the back alleys of San Jose. And this 
is definitely one real-life superhero who won't let the bad guys get a word in edgewise. As far as abilities, I'm one hell of a good talker. They've talked down more situations out in the streets than I can shake a stick at. Have a good safe night, sir. As far as weapons go, I got my trusty stun gun. And then I've got my two big guns right here and right here. Split up. If you guys have any problems, we'll do the best we can to come to your aid. Over the course of my career, I have so far received two concussions, two sprained ankles, one broken finger, two dislocated shoulders. You're better off killing them with kindness than anything else. Inspiring the youth of America to reach for the stars. Well, that's one of the most challenging tasks anyone can take on and the urban superhero Danger Man has embraced that challenge with a vengeance. Thank you very much. It's been Danger Man, the one the buzz is about. And when I come to town, the bad guys creep out. No one can tell you how I do what I do. Hey, so watch me and my caution crew break it down for you. Hold oh, no. on. Yeah. Somebody told me, say, ah, aren't you too old to be a superhero? I was like, you know what? I didn't know they had an age limit on helping children and helping to make the community a better place. Now, I've invited all of these amazing heroes to come here to my academy where I'll get to know them personally, to learn their strengths. So you can not only defend somebody, but if he's been injured, you can help him also. I sure can. That's really impressive. And most importantly, to help them overcome their weaknesses. Uh. If you really want to command a room, I've got the perfect person to help you out. You must be Danger Man. I'm the Hawk. And in the end, I'll choose one of them to join my world of heroes. Excelsior!